find the wire for the power supply, the connecting the power supply, the brown color wire is the live wire, the blue color wire is the neutral wire, and last, the yellow color wire is the ground wire with the PE sample. After open the wooden box and find the plastic accessory bag, you will find the spare parts of protective lens and the black color water outlet plug. You can take it out from the small box. The purpose of this plug is to put in the water outlet of our jewelry laser welding machine. This is how the wire connected with the power supply. Um, the voltage is 220 volts with a single phase. Um, as you can see, there is the L standard stand with the live wire with the brown color. Uh, the blue color with the N sample is the neutral wire. And the PE with the yellow color is a ground wire. In the back of our device, this is the power electronic wire to connect it with the power supply. Uh, this is a black wire right there. This tube right there is the air inlet tube uh, for you to connect it with the potato gas. It can either be um, agro gas or nitrogen gas. Uh, and uh, below that air inlet tube, we can see this is a full switch. On the right side, this is a water outlet tube and a water inlet tube um, for you to you know, refill the water for our um, cooling system inside of our jewelry laser welding machine. This black tube right there is plugging into the water outlet tube. Now we are going to show you the, um, the tube to, for the air inlet. This is a six millimeter water tube, air tube. This is how you plug in. So when you try to plug out, you need to press the um, blue circle easily and then you can remove the air tube directly. Next, we're going to show you how to connect the connecting the food switch with the machine. Can you plug in? Build the water for the water cooling system. As you can see, this is a, a water tank. You can either use the um, purify, purify water or the uh, distilled water uh, with three or two, four liters. This is a 20 millimeter diameter um, plastic uh, water tube. This is a water outlet we've been talking about and this is a water inlet. You can easily plug the water tube into the um, water inlet plug. And the other side of the water tube into the water tank. And then press the green button on the front side of the power machine. Turn on the power supply. When the water is going inside the water tank, you have to uh, remove the water tube from the uh, water inlet. In the main 
interface menu, if you click the function menu with the password we provide, and confirming in the empty white space on the bottom right corner, there's four different languages for you to choose, uh, the simplified Chinese, uh, the English, Korean, or the Russian. If you um, click the English language, um, all those parameters in the um, interface will be you know, switched from Chinese into the English. So after you confirm which language you choose, you can click the save button um, you know, to save the, all the changes you just made. As you can see right there, this uh, the NO number sample, uh, this rep represents the um, storage function is one, two, three, four. With the number change, you can also see the um, all those parameters, current frequency, pulse base, spar base will be changed. And you can always you know adjust the parameters based on different um, or one, two, three, four, you know, to restore the storage function uh, when you try to weld um, setting for the different welding materials. When everything, um, you want to confirm the change you just made, uh, click the save button, and go back to check how those um, parameters is correct or not. After everything is finished, you know, go back to the means menu in the interface and uh, turn the on button on the screen and then wait until when wait for 30 to 40 seconds until the machine is working.
this is a very effect displayed by a 10 times CCD uh, external camera. Okay. When you finish using the machine, uh, please press the off button and click yes to confirm the and the system will be shut down and turn off. After finish the menu operation and then press the emergency button and the system will be shut down.